in this video we're going to focus on converting now our chart into a date chart and you can see here we have the date and we get all of these numbers which is basically the hours the seconds the minutes of our chart it looks like a real stock chart now of course the label here right now is far too long and we're going to work on that in another video but we're going to focus first on converting it into a proper date chart so let's start to look how we can use now in part nine convert everything into a proper date structure so right now we have just this solid text and of course this doesn't make any sense because if you're working with a stock market chart you should have the date in here so what we're going to use is here what we call the date adapter so let's start to work on that right now it is first of all we're going here on chartjs.org and click here on the ecosystem because we need a specific adapter here to support the dates once you're on here scroll down and click here on the adapters and then you have three options here i'm going to recommend you this option to use because this one for me is harder to use but if you only want to add up the basic functionality it will automatically uh, work and only needs one single JavaScript file. Loxon is easier to use, but requires two JavaScript files, but we won't use their commands. So it doesn't matter. I don't want to load two JavaScript files for that reason. Moments is wonderful, but has been deprecated. In 2020, they stopped developing it. So don't use this. This will probably be phased out very soon. Click on date FNS. And once you're on here, scroll down here, and then we're going to grab this second link here, which you can see here if you look very carefully, Charge.js adapter date FNS bundle. Copy this, and then what we're going to do here is we're going to scroll down here, and then after the JavaScript library, we're going to load this one here. Main reason, JavaScript library has certain commands and dependencies or um, constants, variables, that this one is dependent on. So once we have this, if we save this, refresh, nothing happens here, of course, because we didn't activate it yet. So let's scroll down here, and we're going to go to the scales, and then in the scales, let's see where it is. Uh, yeah, I guess we have uh, that's it. We have such a long code uh, file now, and it uh, takes some time to search for it. So anyway, X scale, comma here, and then what we're going to say here is the type will be equal to time, comma. So now we have this time object, so we can put a time object here, and then we're going to say here unit will be day, and that's it. So we could skip. The weekends. If you want to skip the weekend, weekends, just put in your time series. That's the only one you have to do because it would then consider everything as equidistant, which is an equal distance or well, equal space of every segment and tick. So that's the only difference you need to do. So let's go up here because what we have to do now, if you save this and refresh, you will see it will break. And the reason why is because of the structure is incorrect. And somehow I regret that we didn't do this before I started. Yeah, and I thought it was not necessary, but now looking back, we have now a lot of code dependent on each other. And if I would change certain items, it's like a uh, Jenga block that we take one of the foundations we take away. And if we take one of these foundation blocks away and then another one, it can break because all these codes are, commanded, are connected together. So that's my, my mistake. So we might solve that, but at the very end of the video series, probably to avoid all uh, fixing. So what I want to do here now is just to put in here solid dates and we're going to say 0501 and the one is from May 1 and I just put in here May 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 so I'll put in here I'll just increment these 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 all right if we save this we should see here now a conversion of the date all right so you can see here this date is converted but look at the bottom here it says undefined the reason why this is undefined it was basically looking at what we call the index number and I realized now we don't need the index number of the labels because we don't have to search for these labels because now the value is not recognized the reason why the value is not recognized here is because the value here is not anymore a text it's like a uh, millisecond because of that, we need to convert now this text into a millisecond. So let's start to do that now. So I'm going to scroll down here and we're going to search on, let's see what is the part. This is the part here with the labels, the X label in this case. So I'm going to scroll down here and look for X labels, crosshair labels. There we are, that's the label. And then we have the Y label. No, I want the X label here. 
So what we're having here is basically this item here. This is incorrect now. So let me show you why. Because it's supposed to look here for the index of a matching with that name. Now it has no matching name because this variable is is a number and it will change every tick or every pixel it will change because of the day. Just just milliseconds. So if I do here a console log, it will show you and we're going to make sure we remove that bracket there. Save, refresh. Open up developer tab. Alright, so as you can see here, now we get these huge, huge numbers and this is just milliseconds of a day. So what we're going to do now is going to convert this nicely so it will be recognized. So what I'm going to say here, new date. And then we're going to put this in parentheses here. There we are. And then this one again, parentheses. And this is the console log. So all right. So if I save this now, refresh. Now, as you can see, we get now the full text here, which is Friday. If I go here on Friday, 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 halfway here, there will be, I don't know how many days that is, maybe 10 hours, 12 hours, mid. But mid would be 12 hours, and there you are. You can see here, you get a lot of information, GMT, or the Greenwich Mean Time, plus 8, which is my local time zone here. The day, the month, uh, the, the, the date number, and etc, etc. So everything is in here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just copy this text, copy that, and override the one here. The labels now, it's not really a, a solid text anymore. It is not this. All right. That's why you can remove this. And if I save this, refresh, there we are. All right, so now you can see here, but the text doesn't fit yet. Why it doesn't fit? Because this part probably needs to be adjusted in the width of the gray box. Remember the width that we had was based on the text, the text width. We have to go back here. Let's look for text width. There you are. You can see your measure text width would be as well. Same item here. Just delete all this, put in that one, save refresh so now we have this one and I guess I will put a separate video for that how we can just quickly uh, remove all the excess data in there that will be in the next video we'll cover that